Next up, Jim, um, we have a little bit of a discussion on the, it's, it's related to the recent glibc bug and finding what libraries you're actually using on your server. Right. We, we talked about the, the ghost vulnerability last week in, in the GNU libc implementation. And uh, Johannes Ulrich uh, posted something today over on the Internet Storm Center useful for for admins if they want to figure out is anything on my system you know using the vulnerable library the one point is the techniques that johannes mentions here only show you if you're using a particular shared library if you've statically compiled the library in and if you potentially then you know strip out the symbols uh, and you may not, you, you may have a much harder time figuring out. But anyway, um, and and probably most Unix and Linux admins understand this. But the first utility is LDD. You run that against a binary, and it'll show you which dynamic libraries it was linked against. Um, and you know, it will then, you know, if if it's if the library has been updated, then if you restart the the process, then it'll run with the new one. Um, the interesting trick that he had in here that I uh, hadn't really thought about was the LSOF trick to see what what processes are running that are potentially linked against outdated versions. You know, once you've applied the update. Um, you know, which processes do you need to restart if you didn't reboot the whole thing? So he, he's got an LSOF trick in here that is, use, is useful for seeing, you know, which uh, additional processes you may need to kill and restart. But basically, if, you're, if you've done an update like this, your best bet is to reboot the system, then everything restarts clean. But again, this, this only applies to... Uh, binaries that are linked against the shared libraries. It doesn't handle the binaries that are statically compiled with these. And those, you're at the mercy of, of whoever did the compiling to offer an update. But I, I, I thought it was an interesting reminder for those of us who uh, may have forgotten some of this or who haven't been Unix or Linux admins for very long of how we can go about finding out, you know, what what binaries are linked against what shared libraries. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Um, I, I really think this is going to be a useful bit of advice for, for those of us who are out there on the, the front lines doing you know, patching and, and just sort of for the general knowledge of, of how you can determine what it is that's actually operating on a, a Unix system. Um, now, nothing really replaces good um, patch management, version management, and, and change management, which would hopefully, if you were admitting a system, give you this information already, you know, you wouldn't have to go and run this and find out, oh, I'm running these particular versions. But in the case that you don't have that information, I know smaller to medium-sized businesses probably don't have the infrastructure put together to track that sort of thing. This is a great way to check as well. Um, I don't know that we actually have a means of looking for that statically compiled code. I think this, is a, this will get you part way, if not most of the way. Right. Uh, but I think in, in that case, I don't know. I feel like the, the best way you're going to find out is, is not to be digging through all of your binaries looking for the particular patterns that you know, are, are indicative of a certain version of your glibc libraries, but rather to go and ask everyone who's written the software that you depend on, hey, are you, are you statically compiling? Do we have to worry about this? Yeah, but I, I, I think this is also useful because unless you've got an automated thing that keeps track of it in some big database, there are so many binaries on, you know, on a mm -hmm. given Linux or Unix system that are compiled and linked against shared libraries that, you know, there's no way that I'm going to remember everything that's, that's linked against a particular library. So, you know, you've got the tools that if it, you know, if you need to, you can go out and, and you know, script it to, to run this kind of a check against it. Yep, fair enough. Thanks, Jim.